So Apple just released a new update to its GarageBand app for iOS. It packs a lot of really cool new stuff. I like Drummer, for example, which auto plays drum fills to tracks you've already added into your flow. But there's something really special here if you always wanted to become Skrillex Jr. It's called Live Loops and basically turns your iPad into a launch pad for loops and samples so you can create the EDM music you've always wanted to hear. I don't think my attire is correct and appropriate for what I'm about to do, so let's actually change that. Perfect, all right. All right, so let's take a closer look. This track view will look very familiar if you used GarageBand before, but what we're looking at now is live loops. Let's dive in, and yes, I wanna become Diplo 2 or something. So let's dive into the EDM uh, menu. We do have a uh, pretty decent Apple preset, so I'll show you what we've got here. We've got five uh, drum tracks, a couple synth tracks, uh, and a couple samples down here, which Apple has probably recorded somewhere. I've already launched a couple, but if you wanna launch them all at the same time, Tap this button down here, we've got our beat going. It's actually not bad. All of the loops that Apple has included are royalty free, so throw them into your YouTube videos, your SoundCloud accounts, basically have a blast with them. Uh, what we can also do is tap the effects, and we do have two controls down here. Now these are switchable. Uh, I prefer the filter, so it's easy to just sort of go in and play with the envelope and fuss with that sound really nicely. We've got the repeater as well, which basically does exactly what it says. Let's give that a shot. Wait for the right moment here. Come on. And then switch. There we go. Got a couple more controls down here. This is a pretty cool cut in and out uh, thing, so let's check that out. If you really have like old school DJ tendencies, you can also use this guy here to scratch. Let's try this. And then we've got the drop. Now if you see down here, there's a green loop. Now that's a loop I actually created using the rest of GarageBand proper. All right, so let's go through how that's done. Let's actually go to edit and we'll delete this thing. So we've got our loops going on right here. Let's actually record straight into that cell. And yes, I want more drums. So. I don't think that will sound very good, but let's find out by turning the rest of these off. <laughs> That's absolutely awful, but it is mine. So we can also add basically presets. Companies have converted their uh, digital audio workstation presets to work on an iPad Pro. We've got one here that we've been messing around with. We can pop into Interrap Audio Apps and launch iSEM. And this is basically a reproduction of an old school keyboard. That's a, that actually sounds really cool. We've got a couple presets up here, but you can go in and obviously customize this to your heart's desire. What does this sound like? I consider myself a musical person, but I have no real sense of structure or performance. So to be able to do this and not feel like a total dork, to feel like I'm actually accomplishing something musical is actually very powerful. 